Hello, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, what is the difference between set and has set in Java? Let me answer this question followed by practical demonstration. Both this set and has set belongs to the collections framework. Okay, in collections framework, we have a one of the predefined interface a lot of predefined interfaces are there under the collections framework. One of such kind of predefined interfaces, set interface, whose child class is asset. Okay, this is what is the relation. Someone is asking about the difference between set and has set. Asset is a child class of the set interface, guys. That is a straightforward answer. Asset is a child implementation class of the set interface. Interface is just a contract, guys. If it has some methods also, those methods are not implemented. The implemented version of those methods will be there in child class of the set, inter set interface known as has set class. Has set class implements all the abstract methods of the parent interface known as set interface. That's what is the thing. Has set is a child class of the set interface which is implementing all the now unimplemented methods of the parent interface known as set interface. Both are part of the collections framework where set interface is a parent of the asset. Has set class is a child class of the set interface implementing all the unimplemented methods that is abstract methods of the set interface okay so set interface will act like a contract where nothing is implemented but uh, has set will implement those methods and uh, actually it can be used okay when you create no, you can create an object for the has set but you cannot create an object for the set because in java you know you cannot create objects for any of the interfaces since set is also an interface you cannot create objects for the interface but we can create an object for the has set. But what we can do is we can not only create the object for the has set, but we can assign the object of the has set to the variable that is object reference that is declared with set interface. That we can do, but we can declare the object reference with the set interface, but we cannot directly create an object for the set interface. We can create an object for the has set class and assign to the variable of the set interface. All these things are possible, okay? But at a high level, what is the difference between set and has set? Set is the parent interface as uh, parent interface of the asset class, where the asset class is a child class, which uh, implement all the abstract methods of the abstract contract methods of the set interface. Okay, fine. So that's what is the straightforward answer, guys. But let's go with some practical demonstration. So for that, I'll just uh, create a new class here. I'll just name this class as demo four. I'll just name this class as demo four with main method. Now I'll show you that I cannot create an object for the set. Set set is equal to new set. You'll get a compiler error saying that you cannot instantiate. You see, hover the mouse on the set interface and import the set from java.util here, hover the mouse, cannot instantiate. You cannot create the object for the type set because set is a predefined interface. In Java, we cannot create objects for the interfaces. So then to whom we can create the objects to the child class of the set interface, we can create the object. For example, if you're using asset, H set, asset, H set is equal to new asset. You can create objects for the child class, which is implementing all the unimplemented methods of the set interface, parent interface, over the most import this asset. And, and uh, asset, H set is equal to new asset. Okay. Here you can give the generic type. For example, you can give integer or something, whatever you want. And you can give empty, less than, greater than symbols. Like this, you can create an object for the asset and assign to the object reference of the same type that is asset class only. And the properties of this asset is something like this. Even set or asset is the same, guys, okay? Set is a contract, right? You cannot create object, but the properties are same. Set or asset, both are same, okay? Set is a parent interface of the asset uh, class. The properties are something like this. Asset or set will store only, only what? Unique elements, duplicate elements are not allowed. That means duplicate elements will be ignored. If you try to add, for example, if I say a set, a set dot add of nine, a set dot add of one, a set dot add of five, a set dot add of nine, a set dot add of nine. Like this, if you try to add duplicate elements, duplicate objects, this nine is duplicated how many times? Three times. In this, out of these three times, only one will be considered and, uh, you know, one will be considered. Unique elements only will be allowed. <laughs> For non-unique elements, they will be ignored, guys. If I try to print the hazard, you see, nine will be printed, one will be printed, five will be printed, the other nines will not be printed, okay? 
see one five nine only one time nine came even though i added three times only one time duplicate elements will be ignored duplicate objects will be ignored and on the top of that the elements will not be stored in a in a proper order it is a random order guys the elements will be stored in a random order how to prove that the elements are stored getting stored in a random order for example here 51 19 i'll just run this and see what is happening 51 99 is there any ascending or descending order here no okay neither ascending nor descending it's a random order all the elements or objects of the asset or set will be stored in a random order that doesn't have indexing concept guys in asset we don't have indexing concept we have indexing concept in array list but in asset we don't have set or asset no indexing concept will be there elements will be stored in a random order and only unique elements will be stored duplicate elements will not be stored in that case only we generally go with set or has set and i told you in the beginning right you can create object for the asset and assign to the object reference of the set interface this is possible guys this is possible you cannot create object for that set directly but you can create object for its child class implementation child class of the set interface and assign to the object reference of the set interface you can generally people write the code like this only okay so run this code and see that uh, the same elements got printed okay duplicate elements will not be allowed random elements will be uh, random order the elements will be objects will be stored in the random order indexing concept is not there this is all about the set or has set in java guys and the difference between set and has set is set is a parent interface of the asset class and asset is a child class uh, a child implementation class of the set interface to which you can create the object you cannot directly create the object for the set interface but you can create objects for the asset and assign to the okay assign to the object reference of which is declared with set interface that generally is used in real time so with practical demonstration and theoretical explanation i have answered this question for you so that's all for this session thank you bye bye